When we saw who entered the basement, we were surprised. Very surprised. It was our friend Max! This is what Max said. Guys! The whole thing is pissing me off! I was a little surprised when he said pissing me off because normally Max would say those words. Let's kill this thing! Max angrily said. Jacob handed him a gun and we came to our fort. Or he came to our fort and then we waited again and again and again. We heard more footsteps coming from above. It's definitely that red thing, Max said. We entered the hallway and waited for the footsteps to come closer to and closer and closer and then enter the room. It got closer and closer and even more. I got a tingly feeling that that was the raver guy. So it must be. I opened the door when it stopped walking. We looked up to see the red guy waving at us as usual. Show him! Landon yelled. We fired at him with the bullets when he hit him. What? We all said in confusion. It's like he had a shield in front of it. It won't die. Then it disappeared. Then we all blacked out for some mysterious reason. It must have made us black out. Or I don't even know. We woke up in a room of darkness. Just one room with a single light bulb dangling. It's so quiet in here, I whispered. Max was just beyond confused. We were all beyond confused. There's just a single light bulb in front of us, and there's a, a fog in this vast emptiness. We saw another light turn on and discovered another room with another, another dangling light bulb. We went there to find a diary from a mysterious unknown person. It was just a single book on a checkerboard like ground. We looked into the book and this is what it said. I was about to read the book, but then another light turned on and it revealed a third room with another dangling light bulb. It saw a drawer in the light. Max and Landon went over there to explore what was in the drawer. While Jacob and I are going to read the diary, the book was dusty and looked really old. Maybe from 1786? That was just a total guess for me. So I went to the first page, read it, and this is what it said. It says it was talking about a story from the red guy. Say that the red guy was founded in the 1600s by somebody who dug up, who was trying to dig up gold, but then later found this red thing in a weird coffin like structure laying there dead until it came alive and then possessed him and killed him. <coughs> After that, he possessed a lot more people and killed a lot more people. <coughs> then died by a shotgun in. 1740 in 1785 it said that it came back to life when a lightning bolt struck its coffin like structure that it was put into when it died in, in 1740 it came back to life and killed more people <clears throat> and then it never died from there it only died once and it said only a shotgun can kill it so then that was the thing. It was very short and told stories about it. There's a lot more other things, but they were very little. So basically, we we just shut the book down. Well, Landon looked in the drawer and so did Max. Uh, they found pieces of paper, and they were drawings of the red guy. <coughs> very old, from the 1800s by artists that adored the red guy they were probably sick and psycho because the red guy killed people and they adored the red guy so they had to be psycho and they yeah they probably were <clears throat> a fourth light appeared and look who is in the fourth light in the fourth room the red guy waving at us as usual but this time he had a, a weirder look he looked like he was about to kill somebody and so that's what he was going to do. He slowly moved towards us while Landon and Max backed up to me and Jacob. We had our gun. We didn't have our guns. 
They, they must have, we must have blacked out, but we don't have them. It, it didn't bring the guns with us when we blacked out to the room. So it came towards us with these weird glowing power bombs. It launched these at us, and Jacob got hit, throwing them back all the way to the first room. By the way, we were in the second room. <laughs> he was down and knocked out for good. Until Landon realized, I still have a shotgun! It was miraculous. Landon still had a shotgun. So, Landon went to get his shotgun out. He pulled it out on the red guy. Shooting the red guy seven times. Four in the chest, two in the head, and one in the leg. The red guy slowly went down to the ground. Blood came out of him. He was, he was gagging, he was, he was struggling, he was making weird noises, he was shaking, until he stopped. I went up to check its pulse on its neck. There was no pulse. One of the shots that was hit in the head hit his brain. One of the shots that hit in the chest hit his heart. Those two shots just instantly killed him. After that, we suddenly woke up back into the room of Landon's house. We saw the red guy there dead in Landon's house. We decided to get a coffin-like structure, put the red guy in it. Then we put it, yeah, we put it in there. Then we buried the structure with the red guy in it without anybody knowing at all. After this, we were just freaking ignored it after we didn't want to tell it again whenever we remembered of it when we whatever it got back into our minds we had horrible nightmares and that's the story how we met the red guy and that is the end of our story on how we killed it us i killed it hopefully no more lightning will come strike on it hopefully no more red things will come after us hopefully it won't come back to li alive who knows what will happen. I just remember only one thing. The Waver. Its name, its drawing, what it does, what it's here. And years later, I only, I forgot everything except one thing. And that thing was the wave it gave me a long time ago. The reason why I forgot everything is because all the evidence we found was suddenly gone. It disappeared. All pictures we found in the black room, they disappeared. They vanished. I only remember one thing, and that is its wave. And another thing I remember, its name. And its name was The Waver.